Hello YouTube people. First of all, this, this video is not sponsored and this store, uh, Steel Dial store on AliExpress doesn't know that I'm making this video. They don't know anything about me really. And I just want to make this video in two parts. First of all, I'm going to give you feedback as a customer of this shop. And then I'm going to give you my first impressions of the watch that I bought from them. So let me tell you a story. I bought... Uh, some time ago, I bought a bunch of watches from a multiple different Aliexpress stores and I haven't even been tracking those watches. You know, every other day I got a message that I have to go and uh, take my package out of the locker or post office, you know, and like I haven't even tracked them. But one day I kind of, you know, raised the question, I, something is missing. And then I checked my Aliexpress orders and it turns out that I'm missing this watch and it's like late by a few months. Okay, I checked the tracking number and it turns out the post office tried uh, delivering me this watch three times and they haven't left me any note, they haven't sent me a message or called me, nothing. They just tried delivering the package to my workplace at 7 a.m. <laughs> basically. Uh, they haven't found me and they just simply shipped the watch back to China. Okay, I contacted uh, the store, told them the story and they were like, well, okay, it happens, okay, then let's wait for the watch to arrive, then we will ship you back again. Okay, the time goes by, one month, two months, etc, etc, and it's like, the watch is gone, that's it, the watch is gone. And it's like, at this point, it's not the fault of the, of the store, of this store, I mean, they did nothing wrong, really. Uh, it's, Half of the fault is mine, I haven't been tracking the package, and other half of the fault is my local post office, because they haven't contacted me. So, the watch is gone, and I couldn't even open a dispute or anything, I mean, I, what, what can I do? Nothing. And the store could easily ignore me. But you know what? They contacted me and they were like, okay man, we're gonna send you another watch, just make sure you're gonna track this one this time. <laughs> Here it is. Here is the watch. I mean, would you expect that from Aliexpress store? I, I, I definitely wouldn't. I, I, I wasn't expecting that at all. <laughs> so they took a loss on me, on this watch. The one watch is lost. That's it. It's gone somewhere. And they took a loss and sent me another watch. I mean, and the customer support was so nice, so polite. And like the response time was at least one day, no longer than one day. I was... I mean, I'm honestly very surprised. So I'm just, I really want to make this video and tell you guys, don't be afraid sometimes to buy from Aliexpress, especially, well, speaking from my personal experience, Steel Dive Store on Aliexpress, I mean, the link in the description, <laughs> my recommendation, really wonderful. I really hope they're going to earn from my video. Maybe, come, come on, people going to type on Google, I mean, Steel Dive Store on Aliexpress, review feedback, and you're going to find this video. Guys, this is my story. Customer support is wonderful. They took a loss to save the client. I mean, thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> okay, so that's done, that part. Well done, well done. Okay, now about the watch. What are my first impressions? First of all, oh, well, okay, I'll let you sh see the package. You all know this package is like super safe, well-packed case. It's like, this is unbeatable. This is very nice packaging, actually. Now, let's start with the bracelet. I bought this watch with this bracelet. I don't know how to resize it yet. All I can say that I've been playing with this bracelet I <laughs> almost all day. I just like touching it, like having it in my hands, like some kind of a toy that I would like to spin between my fingers. It's like, it doesn't jingle, it doesn't squeak, and it's just, it's, it's heavy. It's kind of, I wasn't expecting this bracelet to be this heavy, and it's just, it feels so nice. It's, it, it's so nice. And this is not a review of this watch, so I'm not going to show you how it looks on mil multiple different straps, etc. I'm just telling that this strap, if you know how to adjust it, it does feel really nice, really nice. Now about the watch. First of all, why I bought this watch? Well, the thing is a little bit personal. Let me show you my grandfather's watch. This is my grandfather's watch. Uh, my grandfather passed away when I was like five years old, maybe, when I was you no know, meter from the ground. 
But I do remember one thing very well. Every day he was listening to the radio and at 12 uh, in the afternoon uh, the radio was playing that gong, you know, that it's 12, 12 hours right now. So he always was just, you know, checking if the time is correct, winding up his watch on that bell, 12 hours bell. And I, I, I do remember that very vividly. So this stuck in my mind and this is that watch. This is my grandfather's watch, my memory. And I mean, right now let's take a better look at the uh, design language of these watches. It's like the shape of the case. The shape of the case, the hands, the indexes. It's it's the same design language. It's it's the same design language. That's why this watch kind of subconsciously just you no know, clicks for me. It, it just connects with me. I wow, I like it so much. I, I'm really surprised. What was very surprising for me that I have never seen this watch in a person before. Uh, only in pictures and videos. And in pictures and videos it looks kind of a little bit big and bulky and... But in person I was surprised, I mean, how little it actually looks like. You see, the thing what plays the trick, uh, seeing this watch in person, is that the actual dial where the indexes go is actually very small. The whole watch is, you know, just the case, the bezel, the chapter ring. But the watch itself, the face of the watch is small and it makes this watch appear small. I mean, everything comes together so nicely. It is so nicely proportioned, the whole watch. Wow, I, I really like it. It's not also, I, I really like it. Okay, this is not a review, so quickly. I get to, through several points. First of all, two negative points that I noticed. Uh, first thing is that the inside of the lugs, the edge is very sharp. But, I mean, it wouldn't take me more than 10 minutes to fix those sharp edges, so yeah, whatever. Next bad thing is that crown is a little bit overprotected. Those crown guards are just extra thick and they are thicker than the crown itself. So it's a little bit tricky to get to the crown. But the crown itself is rather big and it's very grippy. The, the whole situation with the crown is a lot better than on something like Orient Ray 2. Orient Ray 2 is just horrible. Slippery crown, tiny crown and huge crown guards. This one at least has big grippy crown. So that's it. Only two negative things. Other things, only positive. So first of all, I've, of, of course, I tried the bezel. How is the bezel? And to be honest, this is the, uh, the one of the grippiest and also the, the crown with the most friction that I have ever tried. It's surprisingly stiff and sturdy. I, I love it. This is actually, this is the bezel that, could I, that I actually could use as some kind of a timing device. All those watches that I tried for under 100 euros are bezels are like just, you know, one finger spin or just takes easily with two fingers and spin. This one, no, however, this is proper timing device. Like, it takes effort, but that's exactly what I always wanted from the bezel. It takes actual effort to spin it. And it is, those edges are so sharp, it grips into my fingers so nicely. And look, look at the alignment. It's dead on center. All markings, everything comes together so well. Nice. <laughs> I'm so happy with this watch. Another nice thing, thing that I have noticed this sapphire crystal, which by the way has beautiful, nice blue anti-reflective coating, it is a little bit raised above the, the bezel itself. And the sapphire crystal has this like 45 degree angle cut around. And this angle just catches the light and just sometimes just sprinkles sparkles. I mean, it's difficult to show on camera. This is not the right angle to show you. So I'm going to try that in the review. But it, it looks rich. It looks rich. I, I love it. And another thing, this loom. All Adidas dive watches that I had and steel dive, they have incredible loom. I, you know what? Let me show you. Just hold on a second. Let me turn off this light. The studio light. This is nice. 
This is crazy. It is as strong as any other steel dive, ADS dive, and as strong as Orient Re2 that I had. This is wonderful loom. And well, overall the watch looks very well balanced design-wise. Even though it looks, it looks a little bit crazy. You know, it's a little bit crazy. Maybe it looks that it goes overboard. But when you see this watch in person, everything just plays out so nicely. All proportions just come together very nicely. It's not like something like, you know, some G-Shock. It also tries to be crazy and this one it actually those g-shocks they do go overboard they do go overboard actually and they look a little bit comical in the way this one goes crazy but it doesn't look comical it looks just nicely well balanced watch if you for example think about some kind of very feminine watch even girly and now think about the complete opposite of that this is the complete opposite of that. This is as manly as it can get, this watch. I, I love it. The, well, it's all just my personal opinion, but I'm just telling you how I feel, my first impressions. <laughs> as you can see, I'm really liking it. Such a nice watch. Yeah, so currently I'm wearing this on this tangible strap. And also another thing, I tried on my phone app, accuracy app, how accurate it is. So straight out of the box, it goes at minus one second and 0 0.1 beat error. I mean, I haven't seen such a nice graph before. <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. And, and even date window doesn't look out of place. I mean, black dial, white date window, but all other indexes are just like this date window. So it all just plays out together. <sighs> anyway. Wonderful watch, really looking. I, I don't even know what I'm gonna say in the upcoming review of this watch. I mean, I already told you everything. So I guess I'm just gonna show you how it looks on different straps. Maybe I'm gonna make some nice pictures, gonna show you from different angles and such. We'll see, we'll see. Initial impression is just as good as you can get. Anyway, Steel Dive Store on AliExpress. Check the link in the description. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, goodbye.